I'm Kitty. Hi, I'm Ebony. And I'm Tom. Welcome to the very first Watt Community Show, produced by DragonMount.com and sponsored by Tor Books, as well as our amazing Patreon community. I'm your host, Tom, and I'm excited that you're checking out our new show. This is really an exciting time to be a Wheel of Time fan. Our community has always been real strong, but with the show ramping up production over on Amazon, there's never been a better time to be part of the fandom. So whether you're just starting it, or you've been reading it since its release in January of 1990, almost 30 years ago, we'll have something for you on our show. Also be sure to check out dragonmount.com TV to feed your needs for the Wheel of Time show related news. The big news coming out of Prague is that filming began on September 16th, which just so happened to coincide with the 12 year anniversary of Robert Jordan's passing. For those who don't know, the creator was taken from us by the rare blood disease amyloidosis on that fateful Sunday in 2007. This is pure coincidence, as Rafe Judkins, who's the Wheel of Time showrunner, told us in a video that Amazon released to pay tribute to the occasion and to talk about their first day of shooting. Hey everyone, today is our first day of principal photography on the Wheel of Time television series. Coincidentally, the 12th anniversary of the author Robert Jordan's passing. If any of you are like me, then I'm sure you're salivating in anticipation for the show. But we're gonna have to wait, because filming is scheduled to take nine months to complete. To put that into some context, season eight of Game of Thrones only took seven or eight months. And that's not counting all the time for the visual effects and post-production. And with the one power, I'm sure the visual effects are going to take a while. They've been filming in Prague, Croatia, and Slovenia. Those are some really beautiful places, guys. Specifically, some of the actors have been posting photos of themselves hanging around Prague. The first Wednesday of every month, or hashtag Watt Wednesday, Amazon Prime's official Watt Show Twitter account, at Watt on Prime, will post news about the show. This past Watt Wednesday, they released a one-minute video showcasing the first table read, which was filmed back on September 10th. The Wheel of Time, season one, episode one. Table read is typically when the writers, director, and other key crew members will sit around a big table and read through the script. All of the announced actors were in attendance, but I really just want to take some time to point out and appreciate how jacked Marcus Rutherford, the actor that's playing Perrin, is getting, because I can only imagine how much work he's putting in at the gym. I mean, the only thing not seen in this still frame are the three protein shakes I'm sure he's got hiding under the table. For more speculation and discussions on this and other show topics, be sure to check out dragonmount.com blogger Adam Whitehead's latest posts in his Adam's The Wheel of Television series. For all the speculation into the show's actors, there's been a lot of discussion the past few weeks on one specific hilarious and surprising character. For more on this, let's meet one of our senior correspondents, Kitty Rallo. Kitty, are you out there? Yeah, Tom. I'm here. Hey, Kitty, uh, where are you? Is that a petting zoo? I am at the Edmund Field Petting Zoo, and I'm trying to get an interview with the goat. A goat? Yeah, the goat. The goat goat. The greatest of all time goat. The chosen one. Uh, is that a sheep? Okay, fine. Maybe it's not a goat. It's a Jacob's sheep. But it is the first official set photo from the upcoming Wheel of Time TV show. Yeah, it's exciting. It is. A couple of weeks ago, Rafe Judkins, the showrunner, posted a picture from the set. Now, some people are like, oh, it's just a goat, or maybe a sheep. But to us, it represents something more. It shows that the filmmakers are really trying to portray the two rivers as a visually stunning location, one that has been isolated and post-apocalyptic. Now, if they're trying to get all of these little visual details correct for all of the video, then it's really amazing to see what they're going to do with the rest of the show. I don't know about you, but I am really excited. Thanks, Kitty. <laughs> we'll see you next time. The Watt community lives in many places, on forums, at conventions, and of course on the social medias. Following all those things can be a bit overwhelming, though. So to break it all down for us, we have our senior social media correspondent, Ebony Adamanis. Thanks, Tom. There's lots of great things happening with the Wheel of Time social media right now. Let's get started with who you should be following. On Facebook, the two accounts to watch are the official Wheel of Time group, Wheel of Time with the blue check mark by its name, and Dragon Mount's page. 
In addition to that, you might want to try two fan run groups. The first one, Screw You, I Love the Wheel of Time, and the second one, The Wheel of Time. There's also the Dusty Wheel page, which has live YouTube recordings every week. Now, on Twitter, you'll want to follow at Watt on Prime, at Dragonmount, and another one you may be interested in is at Randland TV Pod. You can also follow the Wheel of Time TV showrunner Rafe Judkins at Rafe Judkins. Also on Twitter are the popular hashtags, hashtag Twitter of Time, hashtag Watt Wednesday, and if it's your thing, hashtag Watt Dance Party. Now on Instagram, you can follow at Watt on Prime and at Dragonmount with an underscore at the very end. Instagram is also where you can find the most activity for the show's actors, such as at Mrs. Pike, at Daniel Henney, at Madeline underscore Madden, and at Zoe Robbins underscore. Oh, and uh, are there any notable discussions going on there right now? One of the notable discussions taking place right now was started by Adam Whitehead, a well-known blogger who is now a contributor for Dragon Mount, covering the Wheel of Time TV series. His blog series is called Adam's Wheel of Television. In his recent post, he asked a question that many of us are asking. Where is Tom Marilyn? While he and most people assume Tom will have a major role in the series, there's a very vocal contingent of fans that feel that our lack of a casting announcement for Tom means he won't be in the first season. Let me be clear, we're not worried. But it does beg the question, when we will get a casting announcement for Tom and other notable characters in the book? But there's still a long way to go in filming, so we can expect Amazon to slowly give us information as production continues. The most likely place to get this casting information is on the first Wednesday of every month with the Wheel of Time hashtag, hashtag Watt Wednesday. All right, well, thanks, Ebony. We'll see you next time. Okay, thanks, Tom. Oh, one more thing. You can follow me on Twitter at Ebby Rowe, and make sure you keep an eye out for my Trivia Tuesday hashtag. See you there. Bye. What originally brought our community together was books. The Wheel of Time books to be specific, but books nonetheless. So here on our show, we hope to celebrate other books that hopefully excite and amaze you just as much as the Wheel of Time did. We thought, who better to do this than one of the greatest scholars from the Age of Legends himself. He's gone by many names, but in the Third Age, he's best known as our literature correspondent, Balzaman. Balzaman, are you there? How are you? Wow, are those? Are those actual flames? Well, I actually know. These are fake flames. As the true power doesn't extend onto this plane. Or maybe it's only because the show doesn't have a budget for computer-generated flames. But enough about my issues. Let's discuss The Warrior of Alta'ai by Robert Jordan. The watering hole of the plane is drying up, and the fearsome fangorn grow more numerous, and bad omens abound. Wolfgar, a leader of the Ata'ai people, must contend with twin queens, warlords, prophets, and magic in hope of protecting his people and securing their future. Elspeth, a visitor from another world, holds the answers, but first Wolfgar must learn to ask the right questions. But what if the knowledge that saves the Ata'ai also destroys them? Hmm. That sounds like a bit of some of those prophecies of the dragon that I heard throughout my imprisonment. Odd. As I understand this, it is a standalone story, and it was the main stepstone for the creator's career at Tor Books. Or as you know him on this plane, Robert Jordan. It was truly awe-inspiring to see some of the proto-ideas that went into some of his major, later works, hidden in the pages of this story. And it is for this reason that I, Balzaman, Heart of the Dark, implore you to acquire this book, which is available for purchase on Tuesday, October the 8th, 2019. Additionally, for exclusive artwork and maps, be sure to pick up a copy from Barnes & Noble. Once you've read this story, report back to me with your findings. Back to you, Thom. Well, there you have it, folks. You can find The Warriors of Altai, written by Robert Jordan, published by Tor Books, on the Dragon Mount eBook Store, on Amazon.com, at Barnes & Noble, or your local booksellers. Thanks, everyone, for watching. 
If you enjoyed our show, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Maybe we'll read them or respond to them on an upcoming show. As I'm sure you all can tell, we're, we're just starting out and we're hoping to improve on everything over time so that we can really give you guys the best show possible. Some plans that we have in the works are more segments, some bits that are kind of like books with Bialzaman, guest interviews, and maybe some surprises that we can't talk about yet. See you all next time. If you enjoyed our show, please leave us a thumbs up or a comment. Special thanks to our show sponsor, Tour Books, as well as our Patreon supporters. If you would like to see more about how this show is made and get some additional insights into the Wheel of Time, you too can become a Patreon. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow Dragon Mount on social media. See you next time.